shade spot, like the porch. Keep them outside in the shade. And then I just let them hang out out there and grow and be happy. Each one, each one, darling. She's trying to feel her, my mini. mini. So a mini is so much fun to grow, and they bloom. They're just so sweet. That one is beautiful. That one, if it's not going to want a lot of direct light, just okay. some soft indirect light, an east-facing window or a southeast okay. window is perfect. Okay. It likes to be watered in the sink. Let it drain. It does not want to sit in water. Most people okay. kill these by letting oh, okay. it sit in water. Okay. So I take it out and um, water it, let it drain, and then put it back in its spot. And I don't really look at it again until next week. Okay. So morning is going to be too much. Morning is perfect. Okay. It's going to prefer morning over the afternoon, which is why that east and southeast window, because the sun is going to come up and it's not going to get at you. So that is perfect. Um, this one is beautiful. There's another one that's kind of small, kind of that buttery yellow color. In that swig, they're all so This is how I learned Fail Pals. So you asking where do I get my knowledge, honey, Google? And from Fail Pals like you, each one teach one, darling. Each one teach one. No tricks and no gimmicks, honey. No tricks and no gimmicks, darling. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. This is what Fail Pals, if you didn't know, honey, for your home decor, this is the new, this is what they're doing now. This is called a waterfall. This is what they are doing. So, Fail Pal Danielle, honey, you are already above with your um, orchid that your family bent the spike. You are already doing it. This is what they are doing, Orchid Diva. This is what they are doing, honey. It's me and Orchid Diva going to be down here spending some coins, darling. Spending coins. Yes, darling. Stay tuned. The Redlands Orchid Show will be even more spectacular. Now, you cannot go wrong with this lemonade. I'm sorry if my 4K is not giving it to you, but this is a lemonade color, Fow Pals. Look how big the bloom is. Beautiful. Eleganza. Eleganza, darling. So, Fow Pals, I must get back to work. Stay tuned, honey. Stay tuned. kill these by overwatering. They don't want too much water. They like to be watered, drained, and then allowed to dry. Um, so, yeah, these are spectacular. I know. That one's wonderful. I think I'll um, change my mind. And then this is kind of the same thing. But yes, I'm the same, the same way. I'm the same way. Uh, same plant, but medium size. She changed her mind. She changed her mind. Um, this one's a little bit smaller. So these are going to be, again, medium light, really easy to take care of. Um, I even put them outside in the summertime as long as they're shaded uh, and don't get direct light. I put them out there until the temperature drops in the, in the 40s. Okay. Yeah, I can't, I'm not putting them out until Easter weekend it's going to drop into the 40s. But I've got to and, you, and then you'll leave them out all summer? I do. And then when the temperature drops, it's actually the drop in temperature that makes the flower spot. That's what the nurseries the do. Drop in they keep them at 80 degrees degrees. And then when they're ready for them to spike, they drop the temperature to 68. So they just drop 15 degrees. So we leave ours outside. Mm -hmm. Until the temperature and if you don't starts cut these off, right here, even when these fall off, off, they could one make another branch over. like that and start yeah, blooming I again. Know. Mm -hmm. I have that at home in my pot <laughs> cup. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the bathroom is real good too. You so they're super easy. Well. These are the they easy ones. Well, well, what is the big box that everybody gets? Oh my God! Oh man! Oh, that is awesome. We'll give you a sheet, telling you how to do it. 
Mm -hmm. um, but leave it inside until it finishes blooming so you can enjoy all the blooms. Put it somewhere, you know, where it's going to be really pretty. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. I know. Six, seven, okay, what's your best nine, looking one? Uh, Girl, oh, you tell me. One. I want to know. I think this one is beautiful. The color is for Australia. Oh, yes, this one. is. I go with one of these. This is the color everyone is looking for that right now. That color is spectacular, but this one has got a long way to go. And that's you want the yellow? It goes all the way down. Yes. I'll trade. If you want the white, you can have your white no, outline. I, um, um, you know I think I'm going to do the white. Oh, uh, you want my white to white one, or I'll do the yellow? What? I'll do the yellow, you okay. take the white. Okay. Well, she then decided I'll do this to one, get right? the bill. I don't know. Oh, you count on that one's that is two, awesome. three, four, five. Hey, Fowl Pals. One of the things that I'm noticing about the orchids here at the orchid committee that we're selling, that none of them are in bloom and that they have um, new growth at the same time. Now, remember, I told you guys that I believe that purchasing the Phalaenopsis orchid in the grocery store are going to be a, a set, set up for failure because we're looking at them and we're thinking like, oh my God, they have all of these blooms and they have new growth at the same time. I think that was a sign of a deficiency, okay? So all of these phalaenopsis are very healthy and they have no new growth growing. All of their leaves are bigger than the last one before. Um, this is the only one. And in my opinion, it looks a little skeptical because you can see the discoloration. So even this one I would not get, okay? So Fowl Pals, we are going to learn how to buy the correct orchid. Also, look, that's in a clear plastic pot versus these over here. So that makes me think that that, pot, that orchid came from a store. I don't know, Fowl Pals. Let me know in the comment box your experiences. Stay tuned.